it's Atharil here, and today we are once again back with our Crusader Kings 2 Warhammer Let's Play, where we have managed to get things sorted a little bit. I've managed to sort of spread out this empire over here and give it away. I've actually set up a new people as well in the Gristlefist clan. So we now have five clans all in the actual thing we could have up to eight and keep them you know quite a bit smaller which is what we're going to do so we're going to you know keep offering these guys the gristle fist lands for the you know foreseeable future and while we're obviously we are growing larger ourselves to make sure that we stay as the largest clan so everyone else is i mean those are at like 16 those are at six and you know not a lot whereas we could get a maximum population of over thirty thousand. so excellent sort of situation to find ourselves in there we do need to as well try and raid and you know get to a point where we can actually pull in some extra bit of money we are in a massive problem in terms of money as we always are but you know it could be a lot worse oh managed to gain some money there and we're over 51 percent. i want i only want to try and get a white piece with these guys but apparently they're determined to try and you know keep us going and keep taking as much as possible my half-brother has gained a reputation as being very cruel while he's off leading a mercenary band. I've sent him off to try and lead a mercenary band, band to try and get some more income coming in. How well that's actually working, I don't know. I haven't really seen much benefit from it yet, or at least any noticeable benefit. And we are still in a money deficit, which is a big, big problem. It would really seem that Hod's not designed around you know, having money in the slightest. So, you know... That's less than ideal, but you know what? We knew that going into all of this. We've been doing it for quite a fair while now, and you know what? We can't really expect it too much. Okay, then, what's happened then? My guys have apparently... Um, what's this? Um, one of these must be true. Um, all of these must be true. Higher manpower than 500, and all of these must be... Just not. All of these must be true. Does not have nomadic government. Garrison of entire domestic is equal to 500. Okay, so it's one of those. So we need to get some manpower. Our manpower is at 300 odd at the minute. So if we can grow up our manpower a little bit, and then once we've grown up our manpower, we are going to send our son off to, you know, fight. But first of all, we are going to designate him as the regent. And then we're going to go and have a look at the minor titles you we are going to remove you and we are going to give it to my son because i want to get my son to actually join me because he has got what um oh he's now gaining five a month being designated regent and commander so that's good he is getting a lot extra the main reason for that is because my actual you know my brother has managed to get sort of to a point where he started a mercenary company so he's getting three at three prestige which is a problem because you know while he is going to be bringing in some extra money into our lands we want to make sure that he is also as well you know basically he's still not going to inherit we still want to try and as much as we're able to at least keep it so that it's a case that it's going from father to son that's what it has been for a very long time and we would like to keep it going as father to son who is this so a green skin uprising over there well hmm, we're going to have to deal with them soon aren't we thinking that they can come in and try and destroy our lands. That's not allowed. And, oh, we're back down to losing money. Brilliant. It just keeps yo-yoing that, really, doesn't it? Right, so we're at 64%. So can we offer a white piece yet? White piece, yes. So he would accept a white piece. So we are going to do just that. It would, wouldn't gain us anything, but they would lose piety and prestige so that is perfectly fine by my books and finally get them out of our lands is the main thing that we're really just were wanting to do with that there we go it's ended in a white piece so they'll deal with that and then we shall go over and go and deal with this goblin uprising i think will be a good idea how is our money doing not brilliantly but you know what we can deal with it we could call in allies but we don't want to we're going to instead get our guys to come back and, oh, what's this? So my aunt has asked you to consider her for the position of Big Iron Gut. So the problem is this guy. Uh, let's have a look. Council, go into the positions. The Big Iron Gut, military of 27. Hers is of 20. So no, no, we're not having you become the Big Iron Gut because you're not really of any use to us. 
wow, our money is in a massive deficit. We really do need to try and see what we could do to sort that out, I think. But you know what we'll do with that at a later date. So these guys could be up to 6,000. We've got a third of the horde size that we would like to have. We do need to try and grow that. Oh, yay, and my son is now the heir once again. So he has got, what, 5,019. My brother, I think it was this one, 5,018. So, yeah, he has just gone above the actual stuff of my brother. So, yep, that's managed to convince him to actually, well, not convince him, but convince the clans to accept him as my heir apparent, which is excellent because he is designated regent and he is a commander. Excellent for that. So, yep, you will continue doing that. And so then we need to have a look once we've managed to defeat these guys, where it is that we're going to go. I'm thinking we might go after the black and green goblin. Are these goblins or are these orc tribes? These are orcs. So, hmm, possibly the Rothrid. So, again, more goblins. We would like to go against the Skaven and try and take them out. The, the issue just is that there's just so many that, you know, they are really difficult. The Moors here, you know, they are currently defending against those. So, actually, oh, wait, no, I may have clicked on the wrong one. He has a truce with us. So, once we have money, we could, I think, try and attack the Moors and take some land from them. Is it this guy? Can we declare war on him? Or does it, do it, does it need to be? Um, You're not bankrupt. So, yeah, because we have no money, we can't do it. But we could try and attack him. So, once we get money back, that is. So, um, what's this? Balthka sent his hard-earned wealth on attracting and recruiting more soldiers for his mercenary band. A good investment, I hope. Increases his size by 5%. Can we actually do anything to, you know, help there? No, probably not. But, you know what? Oh, we have prisoners. We have known plots. Let's ransom all of the prisoners. Let's see how that does go. And, you know... Bring in the ransom has been denied. The ransom has been denied. That's fine by me. You know what we're going to do? We are going to... Can we eat him? Oh, we can't seem to eat him. Can we eat him? Execute him. Put him in house arrest. Torture him. Humiliate him. You? Can we... Humiliate. Let's have a look. Execute. Torture. No. Apparently, we can't eat anybody. That's a shame. But, oh, well. And so, let's just, let's continue this going on anyway, though. We're getting distracted there. Let's try and see if we can't take these guys down. Ooh, has eloped with a notorious mercenary band. Hmm. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. But, well, we'll, well I'm sure we'll find out at some point. And, oh, look, there we go. We are at 16,000 men. So if we could actually get some decent amount of money, then we could, I think, by the you know good chance, that we will actually be able to try and, you know, well, increase our force size yet again as we are getting ever closer. Oh, and my grandsons. So you, let's start off with you. Let's start off with you with pride. And let's arrange for you a marriage. Somebody preferably about your age. You saw hardy you are a genius and you are strong so we want to try and get you to be somebody as well who is genius and strong mm, is there anybody there is but they're all a bit older brilliant and strong eh, you'll do i think yeah yep yeah, you'll do so arrange betrothal for them and then what do you reckon this one they are strong you are strong and you are dim so Really, you, we would want to try and, you know, strong and smart, but not actually an ogre. So, genius. Yep, let's have you. So, let's see how all of that does go, just to try and get these all to a little better place. Oh, it would seem that they are going to deal with that ogre one themselves. So, can we offer peace? Can we enforce demands? Yes, enforce their demands. Brilliant. So we are now finally at peace. We can go and have a bit of a think about what it is we want to do. Choose an ambition. We would like to win a war. That is something that is very much doable. Are we bankrupt? We are, yes, still bankrupt. It would seem that we are destined to 
never actually be able to keep money, which is a problem. But we'll look into that in a later episode. So everything is finally stabilized. And so the choices now really are of where we want to advance to next. As always, if you do have any suggestions, do be sure to let me know in the comments. But thank you very much for watching. I'm going to leave it there for today. Do be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see how everything turns out. And I shall see you next time here at EGN.